My name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to remove WordPress from your blog URL. Now what I'm talking about is if you come over here to your WordPress dashboard and we open up the site, you can see here in the URL that it's got WordPress as part of that URL on the end of your site, um, your site name. So whatever it is .com, this is jraystudios.com, it's my uh, production website. So the reason that that is there isn't because of anything that WordPress has set up. It's because when you install WordPress typically, it's inside what's called a subfolder instead of root install. And that just means on the server there's a folder called WordPress that holds all of your WordPress files. And what this URL means is it's inside of that folder. To get rid of that out of the URL, we're going to have to take the home page and a configuration file out and put them inside what's called the root directory. And after we do that, we can get rid of the WordPress off the URL. So, first things first, I'm going to open up FileZilla, and I'm going to go inside of my WordPress blog, and you can see I've already got these, these files here, but I'm going to delete them real quick, just so that you can see what it looks like to move them over. And I'm going to open up my WordPress folder, and select the index.php, that's our home page, and the WordPress configuration file. And I'm going to copy them over to my computer into this, this subfolder that I've created. Now we go back up to the top or the root folder of our server, and we're going to copy these folders back over the, these files back over there. But first, I'm going to open up this index and alter something inside of it. So here I am inside of my subfolder, and I'm going to open this to edit inside of Notepad. And this is this is the the little line that's going to cause you a lot of trouble. It's looking for the header.php file and right now it thinks it's inside the same folder as that file and it's not. So if you don't tell it that it's actually outside of that folder then it's going to give you a lot of trouble when you try to reload your home page. So we're going to start typing right here and say WordPress slash and that's telling it when you look for the header file first look for a subfolder called WordPress and you're going to find the header file inside of that. So we'll save this real quick. And back inside of FileZilla, I'm going to copy these two files back into the root directory of the server. And now that that's completed, we've only got one more step to go. We're going to come over to the settings and general part of the WordPress dashboard. And here are the two settings that we're concerned about. This top one tells WordPress where all of its configuration files live. And we haven't moved those, so we want to leave that alone. This one tells WordPress where the home page lives, and we want to change that. We don't want to point you to the subfolder anymore, although that will work still, because you remember we copied the folders instead of moving them, just to be on the safe side. So we're going to remove the WordPress, that slash WordPress, out of there. So it will now look for the WordPress homepage right inside your root directory. We click Save. And now let's try opening up our site. And our homepage displays just like it did before, but you'll notice that WordPress is not part of the URL. And that's because it's not looking for it inside a subfolder anymore, it's right in the root directory. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to remove WordPress from your blog URL. I'm Josiah Ray.